and now you're a London girl. Yes. Born and bred. Do you use the tube quite a lot? All, all the time. It's the only place I get a free grope. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might not know that lurking beneath the streets of London are a network of ghost stations, abandoned platforms, unused for decades. But all that could be about to change. Our Kirsty has been to find out. <laughs> Today, the London Underground is a major business with over 3 million passenger journeys made every single day, serving 275 stations and more than 408 kilometres of railway. But it took a lot of time, money and planning to get to where it is today. The first stretch of line, the Metropolitan, opened on 10th of January 1863. It measured nearly four miles and ran between Paddington and Farringdon Street. By Christmas 1868, the Metropolitan District had opened a line between Westminster and South Kensington. In 1884, this linked with other tracks formed as what is known today as the Circle Line. Throughout the years, many stations have opened and closed on the network. And in London, there are over 26 abandoned or ghost stations. The Strand, which opened in 1907 on the Piccadilly line, is one of them. It closed in 1994 when the cost of replacing the lifts was considered too high in comparison to the income generated. One man has big ambitions for these disused stations. Agent Chambers is on a mission to transform them into tourist attractions. So Agent, have you always had an interest in the underground? I have, but uh, until I found these ghost stations, I didn't really realise how much more there is, uh, apart from the stations that we go through every day, and also how close they are. When did you decide that you wanted to do something to transform these unused stations? Well, around 2008, 2009, when the credit crunch was just beginning, um, I realised that, that we had a, a big portfolio of, of ghost stations, um, and it was a very good time to make use of them. Where did you get the funding from? A lot of them are actually old East Londoners who live in different parts of the world. And at this sort of age, are wanting to come back, give something back to London and come home, really. Can you talk me through your plans for Brompton Road? Yeah, Brompton Road is quite an exciting one, actually. We're working um, with the Minister of Defence. The beauty of Brompton Road is that we can make climbing walls in the deep drop shafts, a restaurant on the roof, uh, and also the tourist adventure still in the old station underneath both of those two other businesses. I take it there's loads of these hidden stations. Can you take me to one? I'm going to take you to one right now. Let's go and have a look at this. So, Jeep, why have we come to Clapham North today? Well, I brought you here to show you one of the deep level shelters. Right. Um, this one in Clapham North is very close to the station. What is this place here? Well, you can see the roundel over there. That's the top of a deep level shelter. Um, it's very secure at the moment. And what is it being used for currently? Uh, it's not used for anything. It was used for storage. Um, and in the Second World War, it was actually built to, to house people hiding from the bombs that were being dropped. Right. So a lot of bunk beds down there. Um, are they still there? Um, they are. There, there are a number of bunk beds down there. It's quite a sort of eerie atmosphere to, to understand that people were hiding from, from a war down there. So what would you like to see being done with the place? What would you use it for? I'm sure. quite uh, interested in making a, a move through restaurant in there or a, a tourist attraction. One thing's for sure, if Agent can pull this off, it could change the face of leisure and tourism for London forever. And I, for one, am very excited to see the results. <laughs> I don't really know very much about this at all. And I'm, I'm actually, I think we differ a little bit, don't we? You're really excited by the prospect of eating that far underground. Yes. I'm a bit scared, I have to say. I, I kind of like it as a, a feeling of blitz spirit about it. I really, I, I like the underground. And I like the idea that there could be these hidden spaces in London that no one knows because there's hardly any space. We're only building up, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I like the idea of sort of going down underground and uh, feel like it'll have a sense of history to it. I like that. I went to the, have um, you been to the war rooms? In the yes, yeah, yeah. Which is amazing where Winston Churchill sorted it all out from, you know. And yeah. And that, that is... I like that. That's how he described it. <laughs> sorted it all out. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on and I've got to sort it out. That's what he said. Uh, but that's amazing, you know, to go there and just, you know, see the places, the, the bunkers that they yeah. were. Yeah. All the, all the sort of bunk beds and everything that people mm. would sleep Crash in. The, yeah. yeah. When they were sorting the stuff out. The stuff. The stuff, the stuff. going on. Most yeah. people just call it World War II. <laughs> but I mean... <laughs>